That's a lot of lawnmowers. I do not condone this type of behavior. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we have another five more. They are doubles and triples, and one of them is the high-end Honda lawnmower key start. That mower is not going to be dragged out for this garage sale, or most likely any garage sale, unless you specifically come to buy that lawnmower. I do not believe somebody's going to come here and spend 500 bucks on a garage sale lawnmower. That is a niche and specific machine for specific buyer. If you want to buy a lawnmower like that, you are looking for a lawnmower like that, not something like this. So. Mrs. Pate's performance is 110% responsible for all of this. So there are certain things I can't tell you um, because I just don't know the answers. Um, I do not believe we should have all of these out. The issue is the gentleman who's coming to look at lawnmowers is Mrs. Pat Taste Performance is also responsible for this too, right here, okay? She has been on an absolute buying spree. I mean, really going out there and spending the kashish, getting ready for the 20, 22, see, I'm sorry, I'm locked up in the house all day. I can't tell you what day it is. <laughs> That's what happens when you become a mixture of uh, Pablo Escobar and Aristotle. Um, so he agreed to buy two pieces from that project, uh, that sale pile, and then he asked if he had any lawnmowers for sale. And I don't think she wants to maybe insult him or ask him, you know, what his budget is. But I don't think he's even looking to spend 500 bucks on a lawnmower. Um, he didn't specify push or self-propelled. We did send him a couple of mowers that we had for sale and he had zero reaction, leaving us nothing to go by. So we're just gonna be grateful for the sale that we do have and we're gonna wing what's going on here. Now, There's a thing going on, cold inflation, everything's going up, but that's realistic, everything but our paycheck. So we can't go up to our boss or employer and be like, hey, I need a raise because of inflation because they're feeling it too, not happening. So the only way that we can give ourselves a raise is by raising the prices of the machines. Obviously all these mowers have been serviced. So there is some value in it now we do buy stuff in bulk. So all the oil that we used is from last season at the $1.77 price point where the filters are still at, I mean, air filters are still at a dollar. The, the spray paint, not so much. We had to, uh, I think it's $1.19 or something now. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, this 2022 season is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be her, it's not going to be me. I could show you all these lawnmowers. I can't start any of them for you. I could start two of them for you because they're push start, but I don't know how, I don't know if she charged the battery or not. I can't, I don't know what she does when she leaves the driveway, um, when she goes out here. I, I can't, I can't tell you. I'll sneak a few pictures on Instagram, but uh, we're a little bit more active on there. It's easier on Instagram than it is for YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, gotta hit that like button. Hit that like button so it could reach others, right? And they could see this stuff too. And then they could learn and, and do what they wanna do and, and subscribe and, and go forward. So remember, like button, hit the like button. Show your support for Mrs. Pat Taste's performance because that's what this channel is gonna be like for quite some time. So let's go over each lawnmower within reason. Ah, you know, we'll go over all of them. <clears throat> so this right here is your Craftsman rear-wheel drive, self-propelled. Really, really nice machine. This one I do know we got for free. 
Now when I do know, we got this for free off of Facebook. Um, just needed a simple carb clean. And while we were in there, um, she jetted the IO circuit jet, just like we do on the snowblowers and stuff like that. That I do know while we were in there. Pretty, pretty cool, unique machine. She does not want to be on camera, so there's no video on it. I kind of have to pull her teeth. Um, she's like hot and cold, and I understand why. I get it. Some days are good for her, some days are bad for her. I am not the easiest person to deal with. This Lawn Boy with Key Start, believe it or not, this was a steal of a deal. This was 50 bucks, and uh, it works. Trust me. So I know that everything, the prices have changed for everything. So I know that's 300, 300. This is our Troy built TB230. Okay, we've increased our prices because of inflation. So the Troy built TB230, I think this is either 250 or 280. I have to double check. Nice machine. Front wheel drive self, I'm sorry. Rear wheel drive self propelled, one boy key start, rear wheel drive self propelled. Troy built TB130, front wheel drive self propelled. Believe it or not, people actually think this is very important. You should mention your ad, oversized rear wheels for maneuverability. Um, nice machine, deck wash, three in one with the side discharge. Nice machine, nice machine. Variable speed. Self-propelled, mentioned that in year two, and reduce it up. This lawn mower, we actually have sold for this weekend. A gentleman, some nut, is coming uh, either Friday or at some point over the weekend for $300 for this lawn mower. Uh, that I do know we paid $50 for, and that just needed a simple carb clean. He is coming from Connecticut. Um, I'm not gonna say he's coming solely here for the lawn mower. He's visiting somebody on Long Island, and while he's here, he wants to pick this up. This is a Craftsman Gold Series lawn mower, front wheel drive, self propelled, has a deck spout, three in one, a 22 inch deck compared to a 21 and a 20. That's a 21. And it has bagging assist. Comes with the side dish truck. Really, really nice lawn mower. This I do remember was 50 bucks. I negotiated this deal. We were going back and forth with, um, with the lady who bought it. So we won. This one here, I don't remember what we paid for. This is gonna be a Mrs. Pate's performance. Uh, I have to ask her. The iconic Toro personal pace, three in one, 22 inch. I don't think he's taking this one, so we can start this one. Push button. Come on. Push button start like your high-end sports car. Here you have in the Toro Ferrari Red lawnmower. Beautiful machine. Is this the Smart Stow? No, this is not the Smart Stow, but it does have the quick lever shoot adjustment, um, you know, to go from mulching or side discharging to bagging. So this is pretty cool. I argued with her that we should not have both of these machines out, but she says we should. And whatever, her garage sale, she could have it her way. I do not condone this, but whatever. Craftsman M210. Craftsman M230. I think we're asking the same price for these. This one needs a little bit more love. Um, once the weather starts to get a little bit warmer out, we can give it some love. But for now, for the garage sale, I think it's the same price. I have to double check. The M210 has a 140cc engine versus the 230 with a 163cc engine. Okay, Both front wheel drive self, basically identically the same lawn mowers. This one has oversized rear wheels, variable speed self-propelled, and this one is just one speed self-propelled. This mower also does not have a built-in deck spout. The 230 has the deck spout. 
So in theory, really we should be asking more for that lawnmower, but just because it's getting a little, it's just not that time yet to, to, to do some paint work and, and put some shine on some machines, it's just too cold. And the nice weather that we've been having, the little bit of nice weather we've been having, she's just been going crazy servicing everything. So I'm just grateful for that. I wouldn't push her or want her to do anything above that on top of being my caretaker, nurse, you know, whatever. I don't know what we paid for these, I'm sorry. Uh, this is all her. That one, this is a Honda, it's a Troy Bill TB 160 with the Honda on there. Okay. <clears throat> this one is 200. This is what we would sell the machine. I think last year, I think for like 175-ish, 180, we're 200 on this one. This thing is literally brand new. She bought this as well. Um, <clears throat> believe it or not, I, we created an animal. She, 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 she does a good job. She actually, one of the items that we're selling to the guy today for the garage sale, that's what she originally went to go buy. She went to go buy a weed whacker and then the guy said he was moving. She's like, well, I didn't see an ad for, do you have anything else for sale? She walked away with this lawnmower, a 755 Echo backpack blower, a shovel, which we need because we broke one, and a bunch of lawn care products like uh, Bug Be Gone, Weed Killer, that we could put in the pump. Free is free, and he just gave it to her. I could never pull that off. I'm missing a few features. And I don't know why he would do that, it's not like he's gonna take her wherever he was moving to with her. <laughs> okay, this is a season leftover from last year. This mower is featured on the channel. This is the one mower that I was colorblind and I screwed up and I ended up stripping this machine down and I had to paint it. This is still gonna be at the 150 price point. This really should be at the 175, 180, just wanna gone, it's from last year. This is the Power Smart that was featured on the channel. We're, we're aiming pretty high on this one. This one is 150, but you need to remember and don't forget, don't get upset. This is proven, proven statistically, that Americans are the laziest and the most demanding shoppers ever. So we're banking on that people don't do their research on this lawnmower. Uh, don't try and just price. They say, I need a lawnmower, it looks cool. It's serviced, it's black, and I want it. So that's at 150, that, that's, that's a little bit more than top dollar. Um, I forgot what these are brand new, but it's not a big price difference. If you make an offer, we will say yes. Remember, in, in the negotiation process, we, you've seen it all here, we've done it all here. We've never gone up. We have only gone down. The only way we have gone up is if it includes delivery. So it's really not like it's going up, but we have always gone down. You can never go, you can never go up in a negotiation. If you have ever, ever gone up in the middle of a deal, made more money in the middle of a deal, increased your price in the middle of a deal than what the guy usually came for or the person came for, I'm all ears. You need to let me know because I'm doing something wrong and I would love to know. I would like to put that into practice, execute it, and then pass it on to you guys. Uh, yeah, so that's that. I mean, this is, like I said, this is, this is much, I wouldn't give him guys all these choices. I would say yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, what, what's killing me is that, you know and I know that, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same. Do we really need all three out? But as you guys see in other videos, right, we had two same identical lawnmowers. There's a Craftsman and a Troy Belt. Remember that from the COVID episodes? And uh, they asked me what, what would be my choice? Because that they were literally almost the same. And they did the opposite anyway of what I said. So I would take one of those away. That would have to go. Um, that Craftsman Gold's a really nice lawnmower. 
The guy is, is coming along. Her whole premise is, which I get it, and she's right. The guy is not paying us now. You know, we didn't ask for a deposit. He didn't offer a deposit. He's just like, I'll let you know when I'm in the area and we'll set up a deal. So she's like, well, the money's not in our hand, so we're just gonna take it. So my counter argument to that is, listen, you have a craftsman for 300, or you could take that Troy Belt Keystar for 300. What would you take? It's a two inch difference. Craftsman's front wheel drive, one boy's rear wheel drive self-propelled. You know me, I like, I like, I like to turn the key, you know? So I would take away that, um, but that is a really nice one. I don't know. Yeah, the Toro is always gonna be here. You never know, that's 350. And that, that's a unique warm-up, believe it or not. Besides the, how about that? That is the only Honda, how about this? That Craftsman is the only rear-wheel drive self-propelled lawnmower we have besides the Toro and the high-end Honda that's for sale. Everything else is, oh, and the one, but, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, that's the only one we don't have, so that's, that's a unique model we should keep, all right, you know, forget it. They could all be in here. So, the guy's gonna be coming around 6.30, so the reason why this video is shot now is because she's tutoring, so she can't do anything. And number two, when the guy comes, it's gonna be dark out. I don't know how we're gonna do this. We're gonna set the camera up. I don't know if we're gonna leave the garage light on because then he could see that. I don't know. But we're gonna figure something out and you could see the process of our first garage sale of the 2023 season. First, he has to show up. This is all on her, not me. Um, tell me what you guys think of our lineup and tell me what your lineup is like for this season and any challenges or anything with pricing, you know, let's chat. I told you my inner thinkings. Uh, let's do that. I think I might split this up. Um, and then we'll do the sale on a separate video. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. They're doing things a little bit different this year. Remember?